What up, y'all? This is AJ with Rack and Roll Woodworks. All right, today what we're gonna do is learn how to make a bench. This is one of the benches that I make here at my shop, and it's just gonna be real simple, something easy to do that you can do at home as long as you got the tools. So, watch and learn. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go to your local big box outlet and get yourself a two by 12 piece of wood. I usually go to Home Depot for these and get a uh, Douglas fir piece of two by 12 at eight feet, which is just about the right size because that'll give you the bench, top, and the legs as well. So next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut yourself a piece of two by four and you're gonna cut that to four feet. The reason I do that is because I'm making a five foot bench, so I usually cut down a foot of two by four to be the break for the center piece of the bench. So I already cut it, but I'm just standing by the saw to make it look like I was gonna do it anyway because that's what you should be doing. So go cut two by four. Cool. All right, so now you've cut your uh, 2 by 12 to 5 feet, which is going to leave you a 3 feet piece, 3 feet piece, a 3 foot piece, which are going to be the legs to the bench that we're going to make. You've cut your 2 by 4 to 4 feet or a foot less than whatever size bench it is that you're going to make, okay? Now the reason you're going to do that, I'm going to show you here in a second. When you have your 2 by 12, you're going to cut... In this particular case, I have a five foot bench and I had an eight foot piece of wood. So that left me with three foot. I cut that in half and got two 18 inch uh, pieces of two by 12 to make the legs. And the legs are going to make, be made as so. All right, so here we go. You've got your 18 inch piece and your other 18 inch piece. And you've got your four foot two by four to go in the middle. The reason you have the four foot two by four in the middle is to make a stringer in between the bench so that you don't get movement side to side. And if you're a little bit bigger, yeah, well, you just don't want that. Okay, so. I usually have two of these, and these are six inch molds. The reason I use them is to uh, raise the wood at six inches. But unfortunately in my shop, I can put shit down and three seconds later forget where the hell I put it. So you're gonna have to wait a minute while I find the other one. All right, so I found the other one. So, six inches, six inches. This just makes them a lot easier. We don't know how long I went without doing this. I was just trying to do it by eye until one of my assistants decided to use some of the pieces of scrap wood to make six, 10, 12 inch pieces of uh, molding uh, just so that we can easily know the difference between things. If you're not doing this, I highly suggest you do. Um, yes, you will feel like a dumbass for not thinking of it earlier, but that's okay. Uh, that's part of working is feeling like a dumbass and then getting past it and making cool shit. Okay, so the bench. So I've got these two laid out. As you can see, so what I'm going to do now is use some three and a half inch screws and I'm going to screw them together, okay? I don't think I need to show a video of that because that's pretty self-explanatory. Now, if you can't figure out how to do that, just stop now and do another hobby because we're working stuff for you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you all how to do this anyway. That way you can learn something new in case you haven't learned how to screw a drill use a drill or screw it. You know what the hell I'm trying to say. Anyway, so I usually like to make pilot holes in mine because that way the wood doesn't split. Plus I think it looks a lot neater and it's somewhat satisfying when you do it. Uh, important thing to note here, when you're doing this, make sure that as you use this tap or whatever one that you have to screw through the wood that it's actually connecting to the piece you're trying to screw to. Not like this dumb shit I just did. So hold on while I fix this and then restart this video. All right, now that we fixed that problem, three and a half inch screws. I like to use three and a half so that way you can get some good grip to it so that way it doesn't move around. Okay, now I'm gonna take these six inch pieces off. I don't need that shit anymore. Now you have your base for your bench, see? All you gotta do is take that five foot piece that you cut earlier and put it on top, and then you have a bench, like this. All right, so now you got your frame right here, okay? You've already been through that part. It's gonna be your bench. There, so y'all can see it. And here's the bench top. So like I said, I cut it to uh, five feet, 
which looking at this video now makes me realize how very freaking short I am. But here's the bench top, okay? So all you gotta do now is just take the top, whatever length that you cut, and then put it on top of what you just made. And voila, you got a bench. Now, don't just sit on it like this. You actually gotta do a couple more things like screw it in so that when you sit on it, it doesn't fall or anything like that. But for the most part, this is how you make a bench. Now, I know it's a simple build, but this is something to get you guys going as far as learning how to do something. I actually use this style of bench for most of the stuff that we make here at Rack and Roll Woodwork. So, uh, I mean, I could show you how to attach it, but again, if you don't know how to drill a damn top to a piece of wood, then this isn't for you. So, I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial. Uh, there's going to be some more coming and, you know, more complicated stuff as we go along. So, uh, subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to get rich off this shit and it's going to be all to help me. And uh, if you look up my website at uh, www.rackandrollwoodworks.com Not rock and roll, rack as in gun racks, wine racks, rackandrollwoodworks.com and uh, that way you can see all the other cool stuff that I made. So, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down there. If you're going to post some stupid shit on the comments, then go ahead. I'll probably be entertained by it anyway. But, uh, alright, peace. One more thing. You may want to stain it. Uh, I mean, they're nice like that with just wood, but go to Home Depot and pick yourself out a stain, uh, color it, you could do some shabby chic stuff, um, whatever you want, but yeah, you wanna do that too. So on this particular one, I actually use my Lichtenberg, Lichtenberg device. I always have such a freaking hard time saying that, but, and I burned a couple images on it because it's gonna go to a table that I'm making. Uh, I'm going to be doing a tutorial as far as learning how to do the Lichtenberg stuff, but I'm warning you it's dangerous And if any of y'all shock yourselves by doing it, this shit ain't my fault. So don't be coming to me with your bullshit Anyway, so that's it for now um, Color it stain it. I'll post a picture of it when it's all done uh, And then you can check it out. All right. Peace